No, this is not Carnival Day in Pumpkin Center. It is the day of days in Washington, D.C. President McKinley is being inaugurated. Here comes the inaugural parade, headed by the famous Black Horse Cavalry, personal escort to the president. The crowds cheer and crane their necks, waiting for the president-elect to appear. Here he is, and with him, President Cleveland. In those days, even presidents had to ride in hacks. The lonesome-looking gentleman in the carriage is Garrett Hobart. You guessed it, he's the vice president. Enthusiasm runs high for President McKinley, as he is kept bowing all along the line of march. We have a remarkably intimate picture of President McKinley. It was on this occasion that he hinted to the nation that war with Spain was threatening, and war came, and victory with it. It was only a few years later that McKinley's illustrious career was cut short by an assassin's bullet. But he had already carved for himself an enduring place in American history. 